गुड मॉर्निंग इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज डेटा व्हाट इज डेटा माइनिंग व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ डेटा माइनिंग एंड व्हाट आर द एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ डेटा माइनिंग नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डेटास वी हैव इन डेटा माइनिंग सी नाउ टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा वी हैव मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ डेटास हियर फर्स्ट वन इज योर फ्लैट फाइल्स नेक्स्ट कम्स योर रिलेशनल डेटा बेस देन योर ट्रांजेक्शनल डेटा बेस स्पेशियल डेटा बेस डेटा वेयर हाउस multimedia database time series database and your world wide web i guess in this uh, probably uh, three or four you have you might have known already while when i talk about your relational database transactional databases your flat files or it might be your world wide web this all already you might have heard before uh, it might be your uh, world wide web which you use daily when coming to your relational databases transactional databases you have studied in your dbms now first let's start with your flat files now what do you mean by flat files flat files are the files which doesn't have a perfect structure you can uh, you can take a best example of your word document now i have a word document with name a i have a word document with name z anything a uh, different different word documents is nothing but your flat files here it it accepts either your text data or your binary data any type of data can be accepted in your flat files the algorithms which the data mining has uses this flat files and it extracts the information you can see here flat files flat files is defined as data files in text form or binary form with a structure that can be easily extracted by data mining algorithms data stored in flat files have no relationship or path among themselves as i told you you have a dot uh, you have word file with name a you have word file with uh, z as the name so the both both don't have any relation but then also we are saving it like if a relational database is stored on flat files then there will be no relations between the tables next this is about your flat files next as i told you you have about your relational databases if you all go back to your dbms which you have already studied in your previous semesters relational database what is a relational database has it's nothing but your table like structure which has which has your rows and columns rows has what if i take an example as a customer the customer is what it, it's a name for that you have some attributes what are the attributes you have customer id you have customer name you have customer age anything such things are called as what attributes attributes represents your columns the information whatever the attributes has like the id let it, let us take it as one name as abc his age as some 50 this the information what the attributes has this are called as your records which are represented in rows records are also called as what your tuples you can see a diagram here here i have taken a diagram where it's an uh, employee details i have an employee id i have employee name post and salary these are the columns the columns are nothing but your fields which are called as your attributes then coming to your rows as i told you the information about the attributes you have in your rows those are called as your records or your tuples here employee id is e1 name is rahul post is clerk he has some salary all this are in your relational database if you all can see you can see a primary key what do you mean by a primary key which is a unique key a primary key cannot be repeated that's nothing but your primary key next after this let's move on to your transactional database the best example i can take for your transactional database is your order copy when you go to a grocery store or a mall you have a transaction id there upon that id you get all the items whatever you have purchased for example i have a transaction id as 001 for that 001 transaction id i have n number of multiple things whatever i have purchased in the grocery store or it might be a mall or it, it might be anything that is nothing but your transactional database you can see here again you have a transaction id list of items in the ids t100 i have different ids t200 i have different list of items this is nothing but your transactional database next let's move on to your spatial database now in your spatial database i talk about your google maps here you all nowadays use every at least once in a day your google maps now what does that google map does you give 
a location or you search for anything it extracts the information and it displays you the result for that to display that it has two types two forms it's not types it can represent in two forms one is your vector object and other one is your raster object now what is this vector object and what is that raster object vector object uses either the polygons or the structures anything to represent the map whereas your raster object gives the information in the form of pixels now let's see the diagram first let's move on with your vector object now this is some information whatever i want uh, out of this complete google uh, information or your geographical information i want to search only this object or this place now when i convert it it is showing me like this a line structure as i told you it represents in your pol uh, polygons or your lines everything in your vector objects see here the next representation if it's a polygon you can see here the structure of that country is shown here this is your vector object when coming to your raster object you can see the pixels here here you can see how it is showing and here you can see the difference between your raster object here you can select with the pixels it is showing in the form of pixels here it is showed in the form of what a line here even the country whatever we are searching everything it is showing in the pixel form this is the difference between your vector object and your raster object your spatial data takes two forms that is what your vector object and your raster object next comes your data warehouse again i can take the best example you daily browse something so for example i'll search about your kmit itself in the google now what what do i get i get multiple links of kmit whatever is related now from where am i getting all the information of kmit will be stored in a repository which is nothing but a da data warehouse is nothing but what a repository the sources different sources it te takes the information it extracts the information and gives it into your what data warehouse from data warehouse it will be given where it might be using your visual form or it will give you in the document or it might be a image anything your data warehouse differentiates it and gives to you on the screen that is nothing but your data warehouse what do you mean by data warehouse data warehouse is a repository repository is what which stores all the information that is different data sources are stored in that whenever we search for something from that it ex extracts the information and gives us on the screen it might be what it might be a visual form it might be your text document or it might be your pdf anything it displays on your screen that is your data warehouse next let's move on to your multimedia database now what do you mean by multimedia database multimedia database is what you can have a text you can have a graph you can have a, sorry you can have a graphic you can have a video you can have an animation you can have an audio anything again i can take a best example of your google you have a google lens yes or no so if you scan something or if you keep some uh, take a photo using your google lens let me take an example of a dog it shows the similar dogs to me on the screen that is how that is all because of your multimedia database only next comes to your time series data this time series data is mainly used in your stock markets or your weather forecasting everything because it's a continuous process now if i take your uh, forecast as your weather report so how the updates are coming now whenever i check it shows me whether my day is sunny or it might be rainy or is it cloudy or do i have a snowfall everything it's all because of your time series data based upon the time series you get the information the other example is about the sales here you can see about the sales what is happening here on so and so date week 1 this much sale has happened again so and so date week 2 this much sale has happened it's a continuous process based upon the week or time it's a continuous process we get the information that is nothing but your time series data next i'll talk about world wide web as you all know world wide web it's nothing but your internet throughout the world whatever you have the information you can gather using your world wide web it, it consists of what 
all the multimedia information or uh, it it gives you all the documents or you can talk from one place to another place everything is happening only because of your world wide web so because of this world wide web only we are able to access so much of information this is all about your different types of datas so what are the different types of datas we have studied flat files which uses your what it uses your text or binary format and it does not have any relationship between each and every document or the file relational database which is what a uh, table structure which has rows and columns next transactional database your transactional database best example is your transactions when you go to a on uh, when you go to a shopping mall or a grocery store where you have a transaction id under that what are the items you have purchased next spatial database here we have taken an example of your geographical feature where i'll be selecting a, a country for that country how it is showing me in two different forms one form is your uh, vector the other form is your raster in your vector it shows me in lines or polygons or any other thing whereas in your uh, raster it shows me all about in your uh, pixels next your data warehouse data warehouse is what it's a repository where different sources gives the information it extracts the information and stores in the repository and that would be displayed on the screen in visual form or it might be a document or any other form next coming to your multimedia database in multimedia database it's nothing but it is giving you the information in the form of video graphics or uh, it might be a uh, audio or anything the best example i have told you is about your google uh, lens here then time series data here we have uh, spoke about your uh, weather conditions or the stock markets or the weekly report of a store next world wide web which is uh, you all know it's all about your internet how the things are going on in the internet thank you